Hi, welcome to Sparkles of Arizona. I've been cleaning out my garage this week and today we are gonna take a look at a vintage game. It's from Cootie Games and it's called Don't Break the Ice. Now the box says it is for three to six year olds, but I am sure that many adults and older children would actually also appreciate this game that requires some skill and pounding loudly on plastic ice cubes with a little green mallet. So for this version, you have to put the base together by sliding the notches of the two blue pieces together, which are the base. So once I get them locked inside of each other, you're going to take the base and um, turn it upside down and then squeeze all of the little white plastic cubes into the open area of the base. Um, so this is the base right here. I'm gonna turn it over and then start squeezing in these little white um, ice cubes. So here in Arizona during the summer months, residents spend a lot of time indoors because it's hot outside, like 120 degrees hot. Um, so enjoying, we love to enjoy our air conditioners and we like to watch TV and we like to have game nights. So also anything with the word ice in it is usually accepted by most anyone who lives in the Phoenix, Arizona area, just because we are all so hot. So this game called Don't Break the Ice um, was actually, I believe made like in the 1960s um, by a small toy company that was then bought by Milton Bradley, which was also a toy company that was in business for like over a hundred years. And then when Milton Bradley went out of the business in like the 1980s, they were bought by Hasbro. So this game actually has still all of the names of all of the companies that kind of created it. And you can't buy this particular version anymore, um, but you can still sometimes find it at yard sales, thrift shops, or on eBay. But this version um, doesn't exist where they sell it, the one that has like the little red bear anymore. They have newer ones that feature a penguin or a mammoth. So they're basically the same game. Of the new ones, the bases are shaped a little bit differently. So you know, but the same, it's the same idea where you put in the little plastic cubes, which I'm still trying to get squeezed in here. You can see like on the sides here where um, it has like these little kind of flaps, but um, so you can squeeze everything in there and not break the base once you get it in there and the last. So, oh, and then there's an extra one, I guess. And then there's a bigger piece which is where the bear goes right there, um, that you can put anywhere in the base when you put it together. So I guess you can kind of change the game each time you put him in. He's got like a little, um, like his ice skate that kind of fits into the little, oops, I pushed a little bit too hard on that. So uh, fits into <clears throat> his ice cube, which let's see if I can get him back in there again so we can play the game. Ugh. Rah, rah, rah. So I guess if he falls out, you need to almost start back over again. So let's put, turn it over again and get him through there. And let's get there. And obviously this is not a quiet game, so it's not something you can play while, if the kids can play while the parents are sleeping <laughs> or late at night, I guess. But if you really just want to have some fun, let's listen to what this game would sound like. Let me turn on the, let's see if I can get the audio on here. Let me turn it off for the, for the narration, but let's get that. So you can hear how loud <laughs> these little plastic ice cubes are. Um, I have a wooden table, I have tile, um, in the kitchen and these just really echo off of the table and in this particular room. So you just keep hitting the little ice cubes. Everyone, each player takes a turn. I'm just going to myself, but uh, you take turns 
on each person, kind of like blockhead. Uh, you just keep taking one out until the whole thing falls down. And basically, whoever makes the little red bear or the lot that big giant ice cube fall is the loser. Um, when you play, if you wanted to clear the ice cubes out from underneath, you can. Just, they seem to kind of hold up um, different areas in there underneath. But, but I mean, like I said, this is a vintage version where you can't really buy it new in the stores anymore, but you still can buy this particular one like at a yard sale or something. And this bear, he reminds me of the icy bear. It was just like polar bears with a little red cap and um, out in the wild. But, I mean, as you can see, it's taking a while. Well, that's really not how he's supposed to fall down, but it's... <laughs> I mean, it's not a super quick game. I mean, putting it together is, is a challenge in itself. <laughs> and then once you get it down, the one who drops him will be the loser. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching this vintage version of Don't Break the Ice. But you can still buy this game, which they still make, um, like at most big stores, probably Target, Walmart, Amazon, and it's a cooties game, Don't Break the Ice. The new versions that they have are with a penguin and a mammoth. And I've also seen like a Frozen version, like Frozen, the Disney movie. Anyway, hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching.